Please read us a story on bear. We'll all gather round. Dear old bear, sit in your favorite chair. We'll sit all around, all around, dear old bear. Little Bear and Rabbit were playing a game of tennis while Old Bear sat in his favourite chair and Ruff lay dozing on the floor. Tennis probably isn't a very good game to play indoors, said Old Bear. Something could get broken. Oh, it's all right, said Little Bear. We're using a very soft ball. Well, do be careful, said Old Bear, getting up from his deck chair and stretching. I'm just going out for a little walk. Ruff looked up. And I'll guard your chair while you're away. The moment Old Bear walked out of the room, Rabbit's tennis ball landed right on top of the deck chair. It rolled down the back, up the front, into the air, then bump onto Little Bear's head. Ouch! said Little Bear. Did you see that? cried Rabbit. I didn't see it, said Little Bear, rubbing his head. I felt it. It's given me a really good idea, said Rabbit. You're not going to do it again, are you? asked Little Bear anxiously. Not with the ball, said Rabbit, pushing a big box of building blocks up behind Old Bear's chair. Oh, no, cried Little Bear, covering his head. Not with a brick. Of course not, said Rabbit, as he began to stack the blocks. With myself. I'm going to use Old Bear's chair as a slide. It didn't take long for Rabbit to finish building his wooden steps. When he put on the last brick, he was just high enough to climb onto the back of the deck chair. Whoopee! he squealed as he slid down, up, into the air and landed with a bump on the floor. That was really fun, he said, but it needs something soft to land on. Can I have a go? asked Little Bear. Of course, said Rabbit, but let me put a cushion down first. When the soft landing was ready, Rabbit and Little Bear both climbed to the top of the chair to test it. Rabbit slid down first and landed with a thump on the cushion. Little Bear quickly followed. It's lovely, he said. Let's go down again. What are you doing? asked Duck, who'd come over to watch. We've made a slide, said Little Bear. Duck stared. Out of Old Bear's chair, he said. He's not going to be very pleased about that. Oh, I don't think he'll mind, said Ruff. He, he's not using it at the moment. Rabbit and Little Bear climbed up for another slide. But just as Rabbit put his foot on the chair, it gave a big creak, wobbled from side to side, and collapsed with a bang. Bramble heard the noise and came rushing over to where Rabbit and Little Bear were still sitting, on the floor. What have you done? asked Bramble. Was that old Bear's chair? Ah, I'm afraid so, said Little Bear, staring at the flattened slide. Rabbit squashed it. Well, we'd better put it up again, said Bramwell. He lifted the chair and tried to make it stand up on its own, but it wouldn't. Rabbit tried another way, but it still didn't look as though you could sit on it. In fact, no matter how hard they tried to put the chair together, it either looked very odd or it sank to the ground in a puzzling heap. Oh dear, said Rabbit, staring at it. I think it must be broken. What are we going to do? We need some glue, said Bramwell. Then we can stick it to make it stand up. He hurried away to find a pot of glue, while the others tried to make the muddle into some sort of deck chair shape. Suddenly, Bramwell came rushing back. Quick, old bear's coming, he whispered. Hide the chair. The toys looked all around. Where? asked Little Bear. Rabbit grabbed the picnic blanket. Cover it with this, he said, and we'll sit on it. They spread the blanket over the flattened chair and just had time to sit down before Old Bear returned. Hello, everyone, he said. Are you having a picnic? <laughs> That's a good idea, said Rabbit, except we haven't got any food. Well, said Old Bear, I have some biscuits that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll get them for you. As soon as he'd gone, the toys jumped to their feet. Let's hide the chair in a better place uh, until we find the glue, said Bramwell. Ruff sniffed about under the sofa. 
What about here? He suggested. It's a bit dusty, but it would make a good hiding place. The toys just had time to slide the deck chair in before Old Bear returned with his plate of biscuits. Here we are, everyone, he said. Now, would you like to have these on your blanket or over by my chair? On the blanket, chorused the toys quickly. Very well, said Old Bear, carefully putting the plate on the floor. Ruff inspected the biscuits. <laughs> I like the one with the pink icing, he said. Unfortunately, Ruff's nose was still covered with dust from under the sofa, and with a loud, <laughs> it's you! he sneezed all the biscuits off the plate. Oh, sorry, he muttered. Don't worry, said Bramwell, picking up the biscuits and putting them back. They're not too broken. And they're not too fluffy, said Little Bear, wiping a dusty biscuit on his trousers. But there's one missing, cried Ruff. The pink one. He must have rolled under the sofa. Let me have a look, said Old Bear. He bent down and was just about to peer under the sofa, right where the deck chair was hidden. Wait, shouted the toys, so loudly they made Old Bear jump, and he sat down in surprise, right on the plate of biscuits. Oh dear, he said, staring at the crumbs. Whatever is the matter with you all? Um, nothing, said Rabbit. I just uh, thought I saw a pink biscuit on the plate after all. Old Bear looked at the squashed biscuits. <sighs> well, if it was, it isn't any more, he said with a big sigh. Bramble picked up the plate. I'll go and fetch some more, he said. And I'd better find a brush to sweep up the bits, said Old Bear. As soon as they'd gone, Rabbit turned to the others. It's no good, he moaned. We'll have to move the chair again. Old Bear is sure to see it if he starts sweeping. He wriggled under the sofa until he reached the chair and pushed as hard as he could. It's coming out, cried Little Bear as a corner appeared. Oh, and, and so is the biscuit. Rabbit pushed again, and this time the whole chair slid out. Oh dear, said Little Bear. That was Old Bear's favourite chair. We must hurry up and mend it. There isn't time, said Rabbit. We still haven't found the glue. Well, where can we hide it now? asked Little Bear. Let's prop it up against the wall, suggested Ruff, and pretend it's a painting easel. By the time Bramwell and Old Bear returned, Little Bear was busy drawing a picture of Ruff eating the pink biscuit. What a lovely picture, said Old Bear. Can I put it up on the wall? Oh, it, it isn't finished yet, said Little Bear. You see, I, I need more colours. Oh, well, you can borrow my box of crayons, said Old Bear. I'll fetch them. Now, what do we do? asked Little Bear. Old Bear is bound to notice the chair when he hangs up my picture. And we can't go on hiding it forever, said Duck. I think, said Rabbit, that it's time I told him that I'd broken it, using it as a slide. I was sliding too, said Little Bear, so I'll tell him as well. And I should have been guarding it, said Ruff. Let's all tell him how sorry we are. Rabbit unpinned Little Bear's picture and propped it against the wall, and they were all staring sadly at the flattened chair when Old Bear returned. Ah, that looks nice, he said, noticing the picture. And you've even bought me my deck chair. How kind. Now I'll be able to sit on it and admire Little Bear's drawing. Well, actually, began Rabbit, you won't be able to sit down. Well, not until I've hung the picture up, agreed Old Bear. Not even then, said Rabbit miserably. Oh, I see, laughed Old Bear. You mean my chair isn't up? Well, that's no problem, he added, folding down the front, lifting the back and slotting it into place. I wouldn't expect anyone else to put up my deck chair, he said, lowering himself in. They can be tricky things unless you know what you're doing. The toys stared in astonishment. Don't worry, laughed Bramble Brown. I think we will leave putting up deck chairs to you, old bear. But, he added, you could probably leave eating biscuits to us. That's one thing we seem to be very good at.